everyone and welcome back to my Virtus Last Rewards Let's Play. The last time we not only like got one ending but also two. Well not technically but the other one was a to be continued but you know Alice died again and Tamiyoji didn't tell us the things he should have and we betrayed him and then we allied with him and you know the deal you know the deal. Anyway so I already found <laughs> the uh, fire password by some miracle. But what scares me is that I don't know what to do <laughs> with uh, any of this. I mean, I already solved this. Oh, this is still really weird. Hanging my hole in the wall. Can I like put the seats in there? Can. Okay. I mean, I'm just. There was something about. Yeah, it's just blue password, huh? There was something about. The long seas failed to germinate and three of the fluids failed to germinate. So the thing repeatable ratio between the fluid used and the type of seed. It just can be characterized in the following manner. I don't I don't get it. I don't I, I don't get it. Oh. Can I actually look into this right now? Microscope apparently it has circular holes on top of it gaps as we found. Now the question is, can I find two more or do I need to just change the color of them? It'd be uh cool to know. I mean I can't do anything with that. That's a door. So you play across the door, can't open it. And this is so I'm uh, meep meep meep. He's 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 meeping. Okay. Well, I think that's everything. There doesn't seem to be anything else in here that we can use. And they can. <laughs> okay, man. I get it. Fine. Why can't we still examine this thing? And why can't we examine this it's a tray? Nothing on it anymore. I'm so confused. Frog. Can't take it with me again. So, what do you do with this frog? Actually, I guess we already know, huh? The instructions in that final didn't leave a lot to the imagination. Begin the section using provider scalpel. Cut it open, basically. Man, that's kind of messed up. Zero Scene has got some, some issues, I think. Whatever. Not like we've got a lot of choice here. Guess we better find a scaffold then, huh? Are we actually gonna dissect the frog? And we don't have we don't have a scaffold though. Wait. Oh, never mind. There's another lion eating the sun again. What do you fancy, Trey? Is that a cat playing with a ball of yarn? Are you even looking are you even what? Are you looking Cat it up. Oh, yeah, I've got his cat tick, right? It's a lion! How are you not kidding that? Uh, what? Sorry. It's a sort of tick I picked up when I was a kid. Whenever I talk about cats, I kind of... Well, you heard. That's pretty weird. A tray. There's an image of a lion engraved on it. But he can't say lion, though. Can I examine on there? But the camera just turns too fast. No way, that's not. I don't remember which keys you turn the camera with. You don't use the mouse, so um. No, frog, no. Um. Sigma, what are you gonna do with the scaffold? Are you gonna cut Lord Hopping open? Well, I don't really have a choice, do I? But for Lord Hopping done. What are you freaking out about? It's dead. That's not the point. It's so sad. Yeah. It is kind of sad. Oh, for the love of... This frog is dead. It is an ex-frog. <laughs> da, da, da. Da, da, da. Yeah, fine. I'll do it. Hey, well, I guess that saves me the trouble. No. Huh? Something came out of the stomach. A blue capsule? Oh. Oh, that's... Mm, that 
Yikes, I, I don't I don't want to see that. We are just Don't mind me, I'm just putting this in there. Is this enough? The microscope apparently. Uh -huh. Can't take these out, okay. So we're still missing one then. Bro, I just want to turn the camera, please. Didn't Sometimes the controls in these games or in this game is a bit janky. At least if you only play with mouse like I do, because uh, you know it would be kind of kind of bad using the keyboard because it's like behind my mic and it would make sound. So I I get it. It's like a me issue, but still, it's not it's not great sometimes, but only sometimes. So, the Kato. I mean, what else do they want me to look at, though? What else do they want me to do? Can I put like more seeds in there? I mean, the, these? A mixer. I'm already. D I'm all done here. Goodbye, mixer. I just realized I don't have the saline fluid anymore. I just saw the seeds. Can I put them in there? The biggest kind of liquid culture. Each seed requires a particular kind of culture. Place each seed in the appropriate beaker. By dragging the seed under the sleeve, you can switch them. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on, but here goes. Um, okay. Long seeds fail to germinate in the three. Okay, around seeds like fluid B and cyan. No, they, those, they don't like. No, the, the market is with germinate. Okay, non mark fail to germinate in fluid A. And the striped seeds are put in fluid D and E, only one of them failed to germinate. So, the round seeds don't like B and C. Uh, I should You know what? I'm gonna do- <laughs> I'm gonna use my trusty old phone again and just take a picture of this. Because this is like actually, like actually garbage. Just going back and forth. So the long seeds fail to germinate the three of the fluids, so I'm gonna save this for last. The round seeds in, in yellow and cyan. So they don't like yellow and cyan. So I could put you in like green. Oh, okay, I get it. So I could put you in either green. Red or blue. Okay. Round seeds. Now the market is put in green. Okay. So you are non marked. So I came put you in green. Okay. Non marked seeds fail to germinate in red or yellow. Okay. On the striped seeds are put in D, put E, blue, and one of them. Okay. So, long fail. I mean, this is only one long, right? Does this count as long? None of the marked seeds germinated. Let's see, okay, so you could be in yellow. Long marked seeds when the striped seeds are put in fluid D. And cyan or blue. Only one of them failed. So the striped seeds could be in yellow and either cyan or blue. Okay. Round seeds. 
Okay, so you can't be in cyan because you're you're round. Bronzies can't be in cyan. None of the mugs seem in green, okay. Um So when the stripes these are put in for these cyan. So you should be in yellow then. Is he around? Good. Oh, never mind, not yellow. You're around, so you can't be in yellow or cyan. So red? You okay, can't be in yellow or cyan. Moxins can be in green. So red. This is gonna be really boring to watch right now if you don't have the text like. <laughs> on screen. Uh, the thing is, only one of them failed to germinate, so that means one of them actually did fail. I mean, I could just trial and error these three. Fail. Wait, what if I just switch these? Yup! Damn, actually solving the puzzles for myself. You did it, Sigma! You've sown your seeds! Um, don't say that. Huh? Why not? Just don't. Why do you two? Look at this. Oh! A red capsule? Da -da -da -da. Gimme. There's a red capsule sitting in the hole. Red. Also crazy that you can just find the safe password before the escape password. Sigma, come here. What's wrong? I can see something in here. What do you mean something? Uh, just look. It's easier than explaining. Oh god. What the heck is this? Probably a simplified version of a DNA sequence. A is adenine, G is guanine, C is cytosine, and T is thiamine. I think we can manipulate it. Yeah. It looks like the puzzle has to do with pairing these bases. Bases? Yeah. DNA is made of four bases. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thiamine. Uh, however, you can only bind A and T or G and C. Everything else is one word. These are called complementary base parents. You sure know a lot about a lot about the stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, anyway, you should be able to solve the puzzle now. Give it a shot. Reposition each row so that each A is connected to a T and each G is connected to a C. Move each row sideways until the letters match up. Okay, so I already forgot. What was it? Was C and T, no, no A and <laughs> brain fail. Can you, can you explain this to me, Dan? This is pretty hard. He can do it. He can't spell Sigma without G and A. Uh, what on earth? Maybe, but without the T and C, all you get is total crap. Oh, I get it. Damn it. Sig. Okay, so wait, no. Why did, why did I skip that? So, G and A, right? So, G, G and A? And T and C, right? Wait, T? And I can't... Why can't... Why can't... Oh. Okay, this is crazy, man. And... This correct? No? I don't I don't know what I'm doing. C A I mean this Oh this wouldn't be it because okay I need it's C uh like this, right? 
Oh no, what that turns that. Okay, you need. Uh. Yeah, I don't. I'm not entirely sure I know what I'm doing. Or just, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. It worked anyway, so. We good. Ha! Did it! Good job, Sigma! That was awesome! You want a treat? I'm not hungry. You're turkey! What in the hell? Stop screwing off, we don't have time for that. Now get here and look at this. But, 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 huh. There's something on it. Huh? It's different now. The shapes are in different places. Yay. This is the safe, right? Yeah. It's just like the one in the AB room I saw in the infirmary too. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. This is technically a first escape room we could do, right? Now wait, if we point this in... No, wait, no, no, no. Is it? Yeah, technically... No, wait, that, that's the first escape room, right. So it's technically a second escape room. It's, it's not... I mean, it's not as hard as this third one, but it's... it's uh... Do we even have a third? I'm, 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 I should the probably. If we punch it in the right place, it'll open up at least it should. Okay. Okay, star, star, sun. Star, star, sun. Completed. Yes, it opened! You did it! Crazy man. Secret. Oh man. Raw A and B. Researcher's journal. Dumpy doll. A sequence of forks head in Excelovia. The facility has two stories. The top floor is referred to as floor A and the bottom floor is called floor B. The A and B supposedly stand for above and below. There's a rumor that the floors were actually named after a particular Swedish pop rock group from the 70s, but everyone involved in this project has insisted that that is a vile and hurtful lie. I don't get the reference, I'm sorry. When the body is infected with radical sick, the pro processing speed of the brain is reduced. If we assume the brain currently operates on a one-to-one uh, -one basis with regards to time, radical sick reduces this to one... Uh, squared by one divided by six. I I don't know what what. I I, I hope this is the correct way to say this in English. I don't know. Approximately one to zero point four oh eight. This means that for each second that passes outside, a patient feels that only. 0.4068 seconds have passed inside. Therefore, when one second has passed inside, approximately 2.45 seconds or the square root of six seconds have passed outside. This is why the virus has been termed radical six. So, if you have the virus, time passes slower for you? Hmm. Now I'm having like some some weird thoughts. Like what if we were all infected and that's time difference. Those infected by Radical 6 eventually develop a powerful urge to commit suicide. One theory holds that the disparity in time perception causes the brain to be flooded with massive amounts of information. Unable to keep up, it begins to fail. Whatever the cause, the infected invariably attempted to take their own life, which is arguably the most terrifying aspect of the virus. Research suggests that a targeted antiviral could kill or at least disable Radical 6, but thus far we have been unable to develop one. It seems our best hope now is to harvest antibodies from someone with a natural immunity to the virus. The bodies of those dead from suicide are piled up along the roads leading into and out of town. The entire area reeks with the stench of decay, and the sky is filled with a constant buzzing of flies. At times, the swarms are so thick that even one passes it. Uh, one passes it feels as if a cloud has gone over the sun. Every day, I see more crows and rats are everywhere. 
feeding on the dead. Ironically, the only healthy looking creatures are the stray cats who have grown fat on a plentiful rodent diet. The few humans who survived the outbreak have been locked away by the government and underground shelters. I don't know how many were safe, but I fear only a handful. Oh lord, please, let the future be a bright one. This is an excerpt from the journal of a researcher. Due to space constraints, some sectors have been cut out. Hmm. Sounds like someone named the Dole Jumpy, but why? I mean... <laughs> not again, <laughs> please. Not again. Not her again. Don't you think his head looks kind of weird? There's that huge band that just wraps around his head. Is he hiding a pair of Ferengi ears or maybe he's just a young lo lo lobot? Well, this is just between you and me, but he's got missiles in the, the sides of the, of the head are hiding those pods, like you see on helicopters or SAM sites. Except the missiles are tiny and when he gets in trouble both sides of his head open up and they just fly out all at once like pshhh. Just kidding, actually you just keep snacks in the... At least... Hey, he's the only one who can eat. That's good for him. An antiviral medication made to counteract Radical 6. More specifically, it's an antibody with a natural resistance to the virus. It was found and extracted from an individual in 2038 and then replicated using the IG replicator. An accelerator injection is the only known way to fight off Radical 6 infection. Huh. So, are we saying this was found in 2038, right? But this broke out in like 2028, right? But like... How did it take 10 years to find the cure? Because I thought like 6 billion people were already dead. So... I'm impressed they made it 10 years, is what I'm trying to say, okay? I don't know if like... <laughs> could humanity survive that long if like society collapsed completely? I don't know. I'm no expert on this. Sounds a bit weird, but hey, we will find out, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, sun, sun, star. Sun, sun, star. Do 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 do. Completed. Oh, that's where you got the accelerator from. But then what? I'm trying to think again, then if you found it in here, if it was in the safe, then... Because, okay. Pretty sure... God damn it, which rod was that? No, wait, it was this rod, right? Which... I don't... I don't remember, but... But I can't believe that they would just... That he was the only one to find this, right? I don't remember, did he... He had to have gone through the door with... Was it Dio? I just don't remember. Because, like, why was he the only one who found this? Is what I'm saying. If this was, like, literally in the safe, like, everyone should have seen it, right? That's why I'm confused. Also, the bottle looks different. <laughs> ha, it opened. Awesome, the suspense was killing me, I'm sorry. Me and my rambling. Okay, what we've got here. First is... A map? It says 4B. The one I found in the infirmary said 4A. So, the one from the lounge. And that one made floor A the top floor, right? I mean, we rode the elevator down again. <laughs> yes. We just had that. Alright, let's keep looking. There's a lot of stuff in here. These are... The key cards. Each one's got a picture of a moon on it. Then these have to be the cards the announcer was talking about. It looks like they gave us two, just like with the sun cards. I'm so, so I'll hang on to one. Cool. Sure, fine. Next up... We've got a notebook, hmm? Anything interesting? I can't read any of this. Are these even letters? What the heck is this? Isn't it a journal? It's got dates and stuff. There you but I can't read any of this. What language is it? Who knows? 
Thing is Brazilian. They speak Portuguese in Brazil. Da, da, da. Oh, that, that was me. Anyway, what else have we got here? Looks like two more things. Oh no, my now one looks the same. Is that medic medicine? Hmm. What's that say on the label? Uh, A X E L A V I R. Excel in Vur? Excelivir? Wait, didn't Luna say something about um Excelivir? Not a doubt. Not a doubt. You're right. This is it. This is Excelivir. That's the cure for radical six. Whoa, hold on. Let me see that. Later. We need to get out of here as quick as possible. Yeah, we need to get the stuff up to Quark. What else have we got to get out of this room? Yeah, but that's easy. You, you're, you got it, right? You are got it? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay. That was um, easier than expected. But we're, we're done. We made it. We can just leave. Lock for the door. Right now it says lock. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Just get it over with. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, zero. We, you found it. Hey, hold on a minute. Hmm? There's something... Nah, I guess there's a couple of things I want to double check. Well, one of them's not really significant, I guess. Huh? First off, this machine. Yeah. We didn't even end up using this thing, did we? I know, right? That's so upsetting. Yeah. I was just wondering what it was. Well, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to answer that. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. Look at the side here. There's a name or something. IG Replicator? Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. Replica, okay. So it's like a copy machine? Yeah. Probably copies IG. Whatever that is. Any ideas? Who knows? Ice cream by the gallon? <laughs> Wait, can we copy the accelerator with this? Wait, then we can continue the other path? Of course. This machine must be here so we can just make all the ice cream we want. Are you nuts? You want idiotic girl, you know that? In other words, an IG. Oh, good one! Hey, this isn't the time for stupid jokes. There's a helpless child back there in the infirmary who needs our help. Da, 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 da. He was right, of course. I hung my head in shame. At any rate, as long as we don't know what IG means, we can't do anything with this machine, right? That's right. Makes sense. On to the second issue. Sigma, you found a journal and some sort of vial in the safe, right? Yeah. The vial. Could you show it to me again? Why? I didn't really get a good look at it before. You guys were in there so close I could barely see it. Was it really Excelivir? Yeah, definitely. As I spoke, I pulled the vial out of my pocket. See, it's written right here on the label. Excelivir. <laughs> you really are an idiot. Huh? Although I guess in this case the G and I G stands for guy. What? I don't... The words were barely out of my mouth when he moved. Before I could blink, the vial disappeared from my hand. Hey, what gives? What are you doing? Dio slipped the vial quickly into his coat. Oh, don't worry. I'll keep it safe. I'll even give it back to you later. No, not later. Give it back now. I don't think so. If you want it back, you're gonna have to listen to my request. Request? Yeah, that's what I said. If you want this back, in the next A-B game, you have to choose Ally. Ally? Wait, is that why you took the medicine? To blackmail me? That's horrible! Also, I'm gonna die if you choose betray. You're using Quark's life as leverage! Well, I've got some really good reasons to do so. I'll be happy to give it back if you just do what I say. I didn't realize until I started to hurt that I'd curl my hands into fists. If D 
idea would only give me an opening. Uh, uh, uh. I wouldn't try and take it back by force if I were you. You make any sudden moves and I'll smash it. You pet his pocket gently. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell those other idiots that you found some Excelivir in here. I hear one word about it, and the next thing you hear will be little bits of glass shattering on the floor. Damn it. That's not fair. This game isn't about compassion. It's not about being clever. It's about one thing. How well you can manipulate people to your advantage. How unfair you can be. So, what are you going to do? Ready to promise me you'll pick ally? <laughs> Fine. I promise. Sigma! <laughs> oh, I knew you'd say it eventually. I'm glad you understand how this works. But don't think about trying anything funny. Break your promise and... Well, you know what happens. I mean, I'd die either way. Like, if I choose Ella, he's gonna betray me and I'm dead. See you chumps later. I'm really looking forward to the next round. With one last self-satisfied chuckle, Theo strutted out of the room. Well, he's gone. Are you really going to do what he says? <laughs> yeah. Sigma, you've only got one BP right now. If we choose ally, and he chooses betray... I know. I'll drop to min minus one, and that means I'll get penalized. But that means... Look, it's not like I want to, alright? If we don't do as he says, then he'll destroy the medicine. If he does that, then Quark will... Quark will... So you're going to die to save his life? That's... That, 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 that. Why would you do that? Da, 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 da. In all honesty, I was terrified. My choice was far from a foregone conclusion. Well, I we should get back to the upper floor. Everybody else is probably finished already. I bet they're waiting for us. I didn't wait for Clover's response. Hmm. Well, uh, oh no, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is bad. I mean, we could just, can we like talk to like Kay or something, but like behind its back and then he's just gonna like hold down to you and we're just gonna take back the accelerator, like he would do that, right? And he's like strong enough, right? Thinking who he manipulated, who else he manipulated, and what he used for that. An ambidex gate has been opened. Okay, actually, you know what? Yeah, the plan wouldn't have worked since he like immediately just goes into the AB gate. Yeah. Forty-five minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. Which means we can't do anything to him. Great. Sorry. I went ahead and cracked it open a bit early. Oh, I thought you just went inside already. Deal. In one of us in one of his hands was a moon key. He twirled it around like a veteran gambler, grinned and slid it back into his pocket. You don't mind, right? I figured you and Clover would get up here right away. Besides, I thought it'd be best to get this done soon before you lose your nerve. I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward to the next round. Ah. I glanced around the warehouse. Ellis and Kay were back. This was fire. And of course Clover. Where, uh, where are Tamiji and the rest of them? They're in the infirmary. We carried Quark to one of the beds. 
Tenmyoji and Luna are looking after him. I see. How's he doing? Well, it's hard to say. He seems to be sleeping soundly, but beyond that, there's really no way to know. No change then, huh? Right. So what was your room signal? A laboratory. Is that so? Did it look like the kind of place where they'd be researching viruses and DNA and those kinds of things? Yeah, it did. Was there any of that Excelivir? <laughs> Don't tell those other idiots that you found some Excelivir in here. We definitely need that flashback. I hear one word about it, and the next thing you hear will be little bits of glass shattering on the floor. My eyes flick to Dio for a moment. No, nothing. That, that. Besides me, Clover bit her lip. I see. But, uh, so, how did it go with you? Find anything interesting? Finally shook her head. With a unison of movement that almost looked choreographed, Alison K shrugged. Where does that leave us? We still got about 40 minutes left until voting ends. What are you gonna do? I'm a little curious about that lab you found. I thought I might go take a peek at it. I'll show you the way then. That would be wonderful. I think I'll go have a look at the room Alice K and Temioji found. Never know. Maybe you missed something. Perhaps there's some Excelivir hidden somewhere in there. Good. What a bastard. Then I shall take you there. What about you two? Where are you going? I'll... I'll... Hmm. Well, I think I'll, I think I'll stop by heading over to the infirmary to see how Brock's doing. Then I will too. Glad that's settled. Okay, she noticed. Good. She nodded. Clover and they... And they disappeared through the... She nodded to Clover and they disappeared through the magenta door. D and K followed a few footsteps behind. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, Fi. You know that something is up, okay? You know that. Okay, then. Yes, we should be going to. Hold on. Show me that journal first. Oh. Okay, I guess that, too. Uh. Dio told me about it. You wouldn't tell me anything about the lab, except that you found a journal with... His words. Some sort of bullshit language. <laughs> he said you had it, so I was hoping I could take a look. Yeah. One sec. I ducked the journal out of my pocket and handed it to Fi. She began to flip through the pages, her eyes quickly scanning each one. This is Latin. Latin? You mean you can't read it? Yeah, with time and a dictionary. So, in other words, no. Pardon me for not being able to translate a dead language on the fly. <laughs> Whoops. This looks like some kind of research log. It's not going to be some sort of... I took the dog for a walk today. It was nice, kind of stuff. I can understand a little of it, mostly conjunctions and things like that, but most of these words I've never even seen before. Fi started to leaf through the book again as she spoke. Then suddenly she stopped. Wait. Mr. Mark? I can read this one. Page, page 216. This isn't research notes. It looks like a personal entry. What does it say? Don't rush me. This is gonna take a minute. Hmm. More dots. Interesting. All right, I think I got it. It looks like they're talking about Radical Six. What? Why are they talking about that? Not sure. Let me read it to you. Keep in mind I'm paraphrasing. When the body is infected with radical 6, the processing speed of the brain is reduced. If we assume the brain currently operates on a one-on-one -on -one basis with regards on time, radical 6 reduces this to 1 of the square root of 1 divided by 6, or approximately 1.408. This means that for each second that passes outside, the patient feels that only 0.408 seconds have passed inside. 
Therefore, when one second has passed inside, approximately 2.45 seconds or the square root of 6 seconds have passed outside. In other words, when 10 seconds pass in the real world, a patient infected with radical 6 would feel as if only 4 seconds had passed. This is why the virus has been termed radical 6. Radical is another term for what is also known as the root operation of the, uh, the function inverse of taking to the taking of a power. In a less mathematical sense, it can also be used to refer to something that is extreme or severe. Those infected by radical 6 eventually develop a powerful urge to commit suicide. The exact cause of this is unclear, and although there is as of yet no direct link between su suicidal urges and the reduction in mental pr processing speed, many believe that they are not unrelated. Those infected with radical 6 perceive the world to be moving at a fe fever pitch, as if it were a video cassette being fast forwarded. For instance, although the patient believes that only 10 seconds have passed, in fact 24.5 seconds have passed. Given this increased speed of input, maintaining the ability to observe and reason would become a her Herculean task. One theory holds that the disparity in time perception causes the brain to be flooded with massive amounts of information. Unable to keep up, it begins to fail. Whatever the cause, the infected invariably attempt to take their own lives, which is arguably the most terrifying aspect of this virus. Research suggests that a targeted antiviral could kill or at least disable Radical 6, but we have been unable to develop one. It seems our best hope now is to harvest antibodies from someone with a natural immunity up to the virus. Thus far, however, we have been unable to locate a suitable subject, so I have continued my efforts to discover an alternative means of treatment. Given my current rate of progress, I predict that I will have a workable treatment within a decade or two. It is my fervent hope that humanity will be able to survive that long. The bodies of those dead from suicide are piled up along the roads leading into in to and out of town. The entire area reeks with the stench of decay, and the sky is filled with a constant buzzing of flies. At times the swarms are so thick that when no one that when one passes it, it feels as if a cloud has gone over the sun. Every day I see more crows and rats everywhere, feeding on the dead. Ironically, the only healthy looking creatures are the stray cats who have grown fat on a plentiful rodent diet. The few humans who survived the outbreak have been locked away by the government in underground shelters. I don't know how many were saved, but I fear only a handful. Their survival is the only hope that remains for the human race. Oh lord, please, let the future be a bright one. That was the same as the... Uh, secret files. Whoa, that's a lot of information. Now we know what the virus does to you, though. If you get infected, your brain slows down by the root of one sick. That's... what, about 40%? That isn't the important part. Those infected by Radical Six eventually develop a powerful urge to commit suicide. Yeah, you're right. That would explain why Quark was, well, trying to call himself. There are two other things in here that worry me. First, the part about how they haven't managed to develop a treatment for it yet. What do you make of that? What am I supposed to make of it? Maybe they just hadn't found one when this journal was written. I mean, from what we know, there's a drug called Excelivir that cures it. Exactly. But in the journal it says it might take 20 years to make something like that. Hold on a second. I'm getting confused. <laughs> When was this thing even written? December 29th. No year. Well, there's no way it was written this year. Yeah, probably not. Shut the anyway, moving on. The second concern I have is about the underground shelters it mentions. The newspaper article said something about quarantining people, too. After we read it, we all thought the same thing. What if this was one of those quarantine facilities? But this journal seems to suggest the opposite. The few humans who survived the outbreak have been locked away by the government in underground shelters. You're trying to say that this place might be one of those underground shelters. Which would mean we're all supposed to be uninfected. We would have been thrown in here to keep us safe. Yeah. I mean, there's no way to say for sure at this point, but it seems possible. 
But Quark's been infected, right? And maybe the virus got in somehow. That would be bad. Just think about it for a minute. If this is one of those shelters, a lot of things start to make sense. Maybe we've been here for a long time. Like, maybe they put us to sleep somehow. Made us sleep for years, maybe even decades. Yeah, yeah. While we were sleeping, the pandemic that the newspaper article talked about happened. And whoever had this journal made this entry. And then, once the ant antiviral treatment was finished, they woke us up? Right. It's all just speculation, but... No, that doesn't make sense. I mean, it seems like a pretty plausible scenario, but... We were all captured before the pandemic started, right? Yeah. And how would they have put us to sleep for that long? How would they have known to do that? But most importantly, why the hell are we playing the nonary game if the point of this place is to save us? Throwing a bunch of people into a game that might kill them is a pretty weird way to protect them from a pandemic. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. See? We don't have enough information to make any real conclusions. Man. I think we should see if we can find anything else. I had barely finished speaking before she took off for the ma magenta door. Hey, weren't you coming to the infirmary with me? I've changed my mind. You can tell me about Quark later. No, she did not pick up what we were putting down. And with that... She was gone. Man... I let out a long, tired sigh and started off towards the infirmary. How's he doing? Is what we will ask them in the next episode. Because this one is already done. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was a lot of new information. It's interesting. Definitely something to ponder. I don't know, man. What if they send us to the moon or space or whatever? Like, that still confuses me because in the vision where the thing exploded, it looked like we were on the moon, right? So what if they send us to the moon in order to escape, like, from the virus, right? On the Earth. Because that's where the pandemic was happening. But on the other hand, how did they randomly build a facility on the moon? It's still, like, the timeline is still a little, little strange. Like, okay, we were, we were put down in underground bunkers, I get that. But this entire facility is way too elaborate for that, right? They couldn't, like, build that while the pandemic was happening that made people kill themselves. Like, that's... That's weird, man. That's weird. But anyway... I mean, on the other hand, this could be this test site that Tenmuji was talking about. Like how this still all connects. I mean, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Much to ponder. And um, that's good, right? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.